Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In this lesson we're going to add a couple of images to our web page. I've opened up the main HTML document in Dreamweaver and I've arranged my windows in the split view so I can see my code and I can see a preview of what the page will look like. Just so that we understand what we're doing here I'm going to switch over to the finished version of the web page and scroll right to the top. We've got our logo image at the top and we've also got this photograph at the right of the page. And these are the two images that we're going to be inserting in this lesson. So I'll minimize that one and come back to Dreamweaver. And in the code window, I'm just going to scroll up until I see the logo section. This is where that first logo image is going to go. So I'm going to click between the opening and closing logo divs. I'll type a tab and we're going to insert an image tag to hold the image we want. But the image tag is slightly different from the tags we've been using so far. And we'll see how it works as we construct it. So we start off with the opening angle bracket and then IMG for image. Now at this point we don't close the tag with a closing angle bracket. We need a source for our image and after I've typed image if I press the space bar you'll see that Dreamweaver's code hints appears and I want to identify the source of the image so I need to type SRC and you'll see that the code hint list reduces and we can now see that SRC the code for source is highlighted. If I press enter now Dreamweaver will finish that code structure off for me and it will also open the browse option and this will allow me to go and browse for the image file that I want. So I'm simply going to press enter again and that will open up the browse dialog box and as we're working in the JOD training site it will automatically take us to the root folder. Well our images are in the image folder so I'll need to open up that image folder and the first image I want to insert is the logo image. So I've got the logo JPEG there. If I select it you'll see a preview of that image appear. You'll also see the dimensions of the file down here so if you're using your own images you'll need to have a file that's 579 by 80 pixels. So I've selected the file I'll now choose OK and in the code you'll see that the path for that file has been inserted. Now this is where the tag for the image varies slightly. We don't have a closing tag as such, but we close this image tag off with a space, a forward slash, and a closing angle bracket. And that's what the image tag looks like. If I come across and I click on my design view, you'll see the image has appeared at the top of the page there. Okay, so let's scroll back up to the image we just inserted. The next image we want was the photo that sits at the top right of the page. And here we go, we've got the div for the top photo. So that's the opening top photo div and the closing top photo div. So I'll place my cursor in between the two, press tab, and again I'll repeat what I just did for the logo image and I'll open up an angle bracket, type in IMG space SRC and when the code hint appears and SRC is selected I can press enter. Dreamweaver will put the equal sign and the quotation marks in for me and my cursor will be sat between the quotation marks. The browse option appears so I'm going to press enter and again the select file dialog box will appear and this time I'm going to come down to the logo pick and if I click on that one again you'll see the preview of that file in the image preview. 
dimensions are shown again so we've got 200 by 137 pixels for this photo. I'm happy with that so I'm going to say OK and again the path for that image has been inserted as the source. I'll close this tag with a space, a forward slash and a closing angle bracket and when I come across and click over here you'll see that the image has appeared. Now at this point it's appeared directly underneath my first image but we're not going to be concerned at the moment about the positioning of our content that will get taken care of when we start to look at CSS. So I've inserted my two images I'll save that and we'll press F12 to preview in the browser and this is what our page should look like at this time.